Hi everyone, my name is Linda. Welcome to my channel called Linda Savings. Today we went shopping at Aldi's and let me just mention that this is not a store I typically shop at, but after the amazing prices I saw today, I will definitely become a regular customer. Now feel free to let me know of your favorite products at Aldi's in the comments section. And same as always, you guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's do this. So let's start off with the vegetable section. The tomatillos right now at Aldi are selling for 45 cents. I think that's a really nice price for this small bag of 16 ounces that you get. You can make some fresh, delicious green salsa with those. Poblano peppers, you get those for 65 cents. And I should mention it comes with two big chiles. So that's a really nice price point. Now, I don't come here often to Aldi's, but after I walked around the store today, I must start coming here more often because starting off with these strawberries, $2.29, I think that's an amazing price because they're actually even cheaper here than at my local Walmart. Once in a blue moon, I'm able to find them for a dollar at some small grocery stores. But yeah, that doesn't happen very often. So that's not a bad price for the strawberries. Now moving on to these blackberries, I do like to buy them around $2.50 or so. But you have to kind of shop around for those specials. Same thing with the blueberries. But I think in terms of the blackberries, um, if you don't want to really be driving around, you know, with all these crazy gas prices, then Aldi's is definitely the way to go. Now let's take a look at this asparagus. This is how I like my asparagus. I like it to be thin. That way I can just drizzle some olive oil and it cooks very nicely. $2.68 for that small pack. I think that's really good. And then over here I did see a sale that they had for the salad kit. So, oh look at that. It's specifically for the garden salad, 95 cents. Wow. That is a really good price for this small salad right here. It's a blend of iceberg lettuce, carrots, and red cabbage. I mean, it's pretty much all done for you already. The nice thing about salads like this, if you want to, you know, create more volume in your foods, this is a great way to go without you having to add calories. And then plus you get some, some of those delicious nutrients in there as well. These green onions are also at a very good price point, 39 cents through the Aldi Savers. That's a really nice pack. I love green onions. I love doing fried rice. I'm guilty of it. <laughs> and these are so delicious. I end up cutting it all the way. I even use the green part, but I've heard that some people only use the white part. Let me know how you guys cook your green onions. Jalapeno peppers right here for 54 cents. You get a nice big bag. That's a good price right there. And then this, these Serrano peppers, 68 cents. Wow, and you get a, a lot of them. I think yesterday I went to a local grocery. I just grabbed one Serrano pepper and I think I paid around like 40 cents for it. No joke. So that's not a bad price right there. You get a lot more. These multicolored peppers. Now, these ones have been going up in price. I used to be able to get them for around, I want to say like 75 cents each or so. Nowadays, they're like almost $1.25 each. And then some colors are more expensive than others, so it's kind of weird. Cabbage is 79 cents here. And then of course the celery, $1.59. Now I know if we shop around, we can get celery for like around this much for around a dollar. However, um, like yesterday I went to my local grocery store and I needed celery, I was planning to buy it, but it was actually like selling at $1.75, almost $2. So I was pretty shocked there. So Aldi seems to be pretty consistent with their prices from what I can tell. And without having any deals on top, their prices are not too bad. These yellow onions are selling for $1.99. And they already come pre-packaged for you. So it's a nice little pack of onions that you do get. And then over here, I did see another special with these. Um, oh, actually, like right here, they have the white onions, $0.79. Cents. And then over here, I was looking at these cucumbers, $0.25 cents each. That's not a bad price for cucumbers. Typically they're around, I think the best special I've seen is obviously four for $1. And then after that, it kind of gets on the price of around maybe two for $1 or so. And now moving on to bread, there's this one that is marked at a clearance price. It went from $3.99 down to $2.99. Honey wheat bread from the brand Love & Fresh. Claims to have a lot of fiber, excellent source of fiber, low fat, which is expected because it's just bread. 
Let's see here, 1.5 grams of fat, 16 carbs, which of course is bread, and three grams of protein. So you get 80 calories for one slice, it's not bad. Typical um, macros that you would find on bread, $2.99 once again. Now down here, 100% whole wheat bread, which is my favorite. This is the one I usually grab. I don't know, I really like the taste of it. $1.79, I think that's a steal for this kind of bread. Whole grains, 100% whole wheat. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some of those nutrition facts. Yeah, 1.5, 17 grams of carbs and three grams of protein. So you get 90 calories per slice. That's a nice size of bread. So haven't tried it though, but I'm sure I really like it. For a dollar and something cents, that's a really good deal. Now, I gotta tell you guys, my weakness has got to be chips. So I'm constantly looking for popcorn that I can just snack on instead of chips. You know, if I, if I really don't wanna eat vegetables, like, you know, with the whole hummus and the um, carrot, then I'll just grab a little ounce of popcorn, not too bad. So they have this one, the popcorn buttery, buttery flavor, but I haven't tried it. Now these ones call my attention right away. It's the white cheddar cheese popcorn. And I love the smart food brand, but I gotta tell you, you're paying around $5 at Sam's Club for the big bag. And these are only $1.85. Yes, it's a little smaller, but let me know if you've tried these because these sound so good. And then they're 100% whole grain as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at those calories. So 10 grams of fat for one ounce, 13 carbs, and then three grams of protein. So they're a little higher in fat, but you know, in moderation, it's not a bad snack. But once again, guys, let me know if this, these actually taste like those smart food ones because they look so similar. Now down here, I was looking at the price for these tortilla chips, $1.99. Now they are organic and considering they're organic and gluten free, that's not a bad price right there. These are the blue corn ones. I think they have a different one as well. 140 calories, six grams of fat, 18 carbs, and then two grams of protein for every one ounce. That's not bad. And then the ingredients, pretty much you can, you kind of recognize all of them. So that's really good ingredients there. These are a good alternative for corn tortilla chips at a very reasonable price. And then moving on over here, let's see what else we find. Ooh, these Clancy's Cheese Dip, $2.65. I've been craving some nachos. This one claims to taste just like those nachos. Seven grams of fat, four grams of carbs. You know what? Two tablespoons of this is actually not bad. Two tablespoons, you know, obviously in moderation. But let me know if you've tried this one. I look forward to trying that cheese dip. It sounds really, really good. Now in my house, we tend to not have soda at home, but what we do have all the time is sparkling water. So these ones are selling for $2.95, and they're the brand that is called Bella Vie. It's sparkling water. They have uh, several different flavors. Now each box comes with 12 cans, and each one of them, I believe it's around 12 fluid ounces. And as you can see, they have zero calories in them pretty much. So it's just gas with water pretty much. That's what it comes down to. And this one is lemon flavored. They have this one that is lime. They have over here grapefruit. And then right there in the back, they have the tangerine. And then even, I think that one's like the original flavor, which I have no idea what that would taste like. But let me know if you've tried those. Those look super interesting and definitely not pricey. And now over here, I was also looking at this one. So of course they have several options in terms of Greek yogurt. They have a Chobani strawberry selling at $5.34. But the one that caught my eye, look at this one, Friendly Farms Greek Yogurt, $3.45. And of course, I like the vanilla one. I don't like the tart flavor of Greek yogurt or that soury flavor. 32 ounce. Guys, I just bought this yesterday at my local, um, local supermarket and I paid like around $4 for it. Um, I'm kind of wishing I came to Aldi sooner because I would have just went ahead and purchased it here, $3.45 for that big size of Greek yogurt. I think that is a really good deal. And now from now on guys, I promise to never ever ever go again to Walmart for chicken because I just realized that it's so much cheaper here at Aldi. 
So it's $1.89 per pound. You know at Walmart you're paying around $1.99, sometimes even $2. I mean, yeah, those little cents make a difference when it comes to per pound. So you're paying around $9 to $10 for this package. And then at Walmart, I paid anywhere between like $10, $10.90 to about $12 per package. So yeah, that's a little difference right there in terms of money. These thin sliced chuck steaks are selling at $3.89. They have a limit of two. This one is called Diez Millo. And look at that price, $10.83 for these three pieces of steak. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good deal right here. And this one, let's see, it's around $8. Not bad, not bad, Aldi. I'm, I'm slowly becoming a fan here. These are the ground beefs, $4.29 per pound. Now, typically when it has more percentage of fat like this one, 80% lean, 20% fat, it's gonna be a little more cheaper. If you wanna go a little bit more with leaner meat like this one, this is the one I typically go for, 93.7, 93% lean, 7% fat. And now let's go ahead and take a look at those nutrition facts. This is the reason why I go with this one because it's not, you know, if you get one step higher which is like probably a lot leaner meat then you're gonna have less fat but it's really gonna do a price increase for you you still get 23 grams of protein per each serving and then around four grams of fat which is not bad it's not bad at all but this one would be the ultimatum extra lean ground beef 96 to 4 percent fat and as you can see it has a 4.5 grams of fat which is not too much of a big difference from the other one but the price you see there it is about a dollar more so six dollars 39 cents for that one and then above here i was looking at these top sirloin steaks eight dollars and 99 cents per pound it's not bad not bad at all so it seems like aldi is pretty friendly when it comes to their chicken and their beef seems like when stuff goes on sale i'm sure it's going to drop even more but the prices that they give you up front are really uh, much cheaper, sometimes even cheaper than Walmart, I must say. Now guys, I use glasses, so I can't see too much from afar, but I really thought these were the Hershey's chocolate syrup, and I'm shocked at the price, $1.95, that's, that's a steal right there. Flavored syrup, of course, you know they're loaded with sugar, but you know, in moderation, nothing too bad, 12 grams of carbs pretty much it 45 calories for one teaspoon tablespoon i'm sorry tablespoon so you get a little more than a teaspoon of course a tablespoon that's not bad not too bad you know in moderation and then they have some of these protein greek yogurt chewy bars two dollars and 75 cents i do find um protein bars like this to be a little pricey sometimes but they have two different flavors here the mixed berry and then the strawberry one i want to say i've tried these because the Greek yogurt and the mixed berry in here just kind of makes me think back of years ago. Maybe someone handed me one of these at one point in my life. I'm pretty sure of it. Now let me know you guys if you guys have tried these. These look super good and I remember them being good, but I'm not sure if they were from Aldi's and if they were the specific brand that I tried. Over here they have these ones for $2.49. They're the protein chewy bars. They have the cashew and let's check out this one, the peanut dark chocolate and almond. I love peanuts and almonds, and of course you can never go wrong with chocolate. Yeah, that's not bad, but it only has 10 grams of protein, so don't be, don't be, um, you know, don't fall into the advertisement of every time something says protein, thinking that it has high amounts of protein, because sometimes it doesn't. It really doesn't. Now, I love Kodiak cakes, but I'm willing to try out this one. Someone let me know if it tastes anything like the Kodiak cakes, because if it does, I will be a fan. Let's see here, 2.5 grams of fat, 37 carbs, and 14 grams of protein. That's not too bad for half half the pro protein pancake mix, $3.49. I must say this is probably cheaper than buying that Kodiak mix at regular stores. Of course, unless you go over to Costco, where you're probably get, gonna get more product for less money. And then down here, they have these rolled oats. They have the old fashioned, and then they also have the quick cook ones. So $2.55, I think that's a really good price. And honestly, in my personal opinion, I think all kind of oats have pretty much the same ingredients, but 
Let's go ahead and take a look into these ones right here. These are the Road Oats Quick Cook. And as you can see right there, they just pretty much have 2.5 grams of fat, 27 carbs, 5 grams of protein. They have 4 grams of fiber, which is expected because it is oatmeal. And then they just say in the ingredients section, whole grain rolled oats. That's all they have. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to buy that Quaker brand. It, obviously, it's a little more pricey. That's not a bad price right here for oatmeal. Now, has anyone tried those nutty bars from the brand Little Debbie? Well, these ones right here reminded me so much of those, and I absolutely love those Little Debbie ones. These are peanut butter wafers from the Baker's Treat. They look so similar to the ones I really like. And of course, they have to be high in calories, guys. A little high for them being cookies. Like, Just be careful with them. In moderation, of course. 300 calories. They do have some, some fat in there because they do have peanut butter in here. $1.49, though. That's a really good price, but I'm curious to know if those taste anything like those Little Debbie ones because those are my favorite, so I'll have to try those eventually. Down here, they have these crispy rice treats. I feel like you can't go wrong with these. Crispy rice treats with marshmallows. 90 calories for one bar, 2 grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, and they come in an 8-pack for $2.15. Wow, that's a really good price right here for these Rice crispy treats. Let me know if you've tried these. They're also gluten-free. But I haven't tried any of these products, so I'm looking forward to shopping here a little more often. Now, it seems like they also have some items on clearance. Starting off with these Fitness Tricep Crunch. It's a little set 4-in-1 resistance kit. Or you get the tricep crunch pretty much selling for nine dollars and 79 cents and this is what it looks like to work out those triceps and i think it comes with everything you need to install it even like on your door to work out at home or sometimes you know i've been to gyms where they don't even have like these tricep machines because sometimes people tend to take them and you can just pretty much grab this attachment and take it with you to the gym as well and look at there it says pretty much that it comes with that part where you can pretty much put it on your door to work out at home that's a pretty good price for that set right there they have this crane exercise ball at six dollars and 49 cents that one's almost 50 percent off not bad if you like doing yoga maybe a good option they have these boys rain boots at five dollars and 99 cents not only for boys though they also have them for girls and these are the boys ones these are really nice Go ahead and open up the box this is what they look like yep those are definitely waterproof and then let's see here these are the girls rain boots oh these are so cute with a little unicorn those are really nice those are selling also for five dollars and 99 cents and i should mention they used to be uh, sold pretty much at twelve dollars this one right here is $9.79 when it comes to these leggings. It's a two-pack of soft leggings, and they are mid-rise, in case that's important to you. I personally like mine's high-waisted, because I feel like mine's are just always sliding down, so <laughs> that's just my personal preference. They have some flats here selling at $7.99. Wow, that's, that's a good price for flats. Sierra, they have memory foam. If you work in an office, you would understand the need for flats these are the sarah ladies canvas sneakers eight dollars and 99 cents let's go ahead and take a look at these wow these are really nice i like the material they do have memory foam on the inside i like the decoration there a little design i should say it's a nice color too and then they have this model right here as well now i don't know if they accidentally misplaced these shoes in the incorrect box but let's go ahead and see oh no it seems like yeah it seems like these are also part of the sale ladies canvas sneakers these are really nice There's several sizes here as well let's go ahead and put these back and then over here i was seeing that these umbrellas are also marked down to four dollars and 59 cents this is what they look like you have several different ones right there and then over here you see several different um, socks for men and women at a discounted price 
Also these ballet flats, $3.99. Aren't these just so cute? Look at that. I love the color and the little bow that they have on the front. That is super, super adorable. Let's go ahead and put these back. And then over here, I did see that they had these children's. It's a three pack shirts, $4.99 as well. They have a quilt here. I see another quilt or another wrap, but I can't seem to find the shirts. Hmm. But regardless, guys, I'll let you guys know of that sale in case you do happen to find it in your local Aldi. Now, these are some really cool activities for the little ones, especially if you're going, you know, to the doctors or, you know, if you're taking them to a place where they kind of need to be sitting for a little bit. These are great activities. Mathematics. These are like pretty much puzzles, $3.49. And then they get to count or do math while building their puzzle. That's a great little activity. These ones are also marked down to a clearance price. The bingo match it, $3.49. They have this dinosaur bingo. That's really cute. And then over here they have the chunky puzzle, $5.29 at a clearance price. Perfect for like toddlers. Those are really nice. And then over here, I saw these learning boards. You wipe them clean, $3.79. They come with its own little marker. Wow, these are perfect for like road trips. Like they come with two bonus sticker sheets, a wipe clean marker that is included. That's really nice. That way kids get to learn pretty much, you know, give them another little activity for them to do, especially when they're going on long car rides. It's not a bad price, $4.49 for these build more blocks. Reminds me a lot of Legos, but a much more affordable price. And now they have some other clearance items over here, starting off with this covered stoneware baking dish. And I like that it has its lid, $7.49. It used to sell at $15. That's not a bad price. Considering it comes with its lid, a lot of these baking dishes, you don't find them with a the lid anymore. And sometimes I must say it's neat, especially when you're going to like a family potluck kind of thing. Then you're going to have to just spend more money, you know, on aluminum foil and things like that. This is a cast iron dessert for two. And those pizookis just look so delicious. It's probably one of the reasons why I would probably buy something like this. It is a four-piece set. It has a two skillets and a two trivet. So those are some details to keep in mind. Selling for $7.49. Down here, I found some meal prep containers. My gosh, I can't believe they even sell these here. These are not very easy to find. At least not like at your local groceries. $4.99 for a 20 piece meal prep container. So pretty much you can build 10 of these so you can pack 10 meals kind of thing to go. And then over here I'm seeing these saute pans or the fry pan set selling for $14. This is the brand Crofton, and it's a two-piece set, lightweight cast iron. And then I think down here they have the second option, which is the fry pan set. Yeah, there you go, two-piece set. Over here I was looking at this laundry basket that's also at a clearance price. Look at that, and it says I have wheels. That's very useful, $8.59, $8.99, I'm sorry. And then I'm seeing these Huntington Home chalkboard signs, $7.99. It's going to take a look. It says, some people rise and shine. I caffeinate and hope for the best. <laughs> That's a nice message right there. This one says, coffee first, people later. Yeah, I know some people who really can't move on with their day without having a cup of coffee. <laughs> and then they have these really nice hand woven mats. These are really nice an accent rug actually eight dollars and 99 cents there you have the measurements as well and that is all the updates that i have for today remember to turn on your notification button to know when i have uploaded a new video see you guys next time